The girls are lined up now for the girls' 800-meter run. We've got Emily Butler from Maplewood and Kiara Bahena from Wayne Trace in lane one. In lane two, Merrick Gibson from Rittman and Gracie Miller of Liberty Center in lane three. Do we have Sydney Sin? Is that her or did she scratch? We're not she sure. Scratched. Lily, Lily Bertemes also there is in lane three. Marie Souther, Claire Rethman is supposed to be in lane four, but we did hear she's also scratched. Yeah, Claire's not is standing in lane four. Lane five, there is Taylor Roth. I see her in the orange. She's from Minster and Laura Hamm. Lane six, Olivia Roerding from Hopewell Loudon and Olivia Vogelpohl from Woodmore. Lane seven, Katie Lane from Mogador. Lane also lane seven, Rachel Hoover from Fairbanks. Lane eight, we've got Haley Elig, I'm assuming, from Coldwater there. Black uniform with orange. We'll know as she comes around. Mar Mara Bethel should be next to her in Barnesville. And then in lane nine, it's Erica Durst from Reed Easter. In lane nine, B. Alina Cook from Cedarville. So a couple scratches from some of our top runners here, but both of them had previously either won or got second place in some very strenuous races. Well, you expend so much energy in the first race, or early races rather, that you gotta really be smart, especially in this heat. You know what your body can do? Listen to it. Once they make their way around to the cones, we're gonna see them move toward lane one and we will have a little better look at who our leader is. It might be Gracie Miller coming from Liberty Center, but it's hard for me to see. I can't tell for sure. I know yeah. for sure we've got Taylor Roth from Minster who's right up there close. That's Merrick Gibson from Rittman in first. Okay, Merrick Gibson from Rittman, a freshman. Getting ready now for their second lap. They did their first lap in just over a minute, about a minute five. And Taylor Roth from Minster is now making a slight move, has moved her way into second place. But we got another mover coming up here too. Yeah, Pittman now has fallen back into fourth place. It looks like it's gonna be a three-lady race from here on out. Just a two lap, just two laps around the track. And the thing about this is the 1600 is fast-ish compared to the 800. The 800 is not an all out sprint, but it these girls are moving. They yeah, are moving. It's, it's down to a two lady race and Minster making the move on the straightaway. That's Taylor Roth. She's the junior from Minster. She had a lot of run yesterday, running yesterday in some great races. She was part of that four by eight and other races and she's racing her way to a championship for Minster. The lady in orange is your state champion. Congratulations to Taylor Roth. Yeah, look at Taylor Roth beside herself. She can't uh, believe it. Put her hands over her face. The Ma shock of getting the victory. Miles, Great race. She just ran a 2.12.65. Haley Alig, by the way, got third place uh, for, she, we got third place from uh, Coldwater, but a 2.12.65 came in with a 2.17, just dropped five seconds, which is phenomenal in this race. 2.12. Wow. They picked the best time to be at your That's best. That's right. You absolutely did. So we've got Taylor Roth as your state champion. We have a league from Coldwater, third place. Congratulations to her. Got a few other runners that we want to get the results in. If we can get those up to us quickly. Got the 800 boys coming up here as well. Liberty Center's Miller finishing in 12th place. Wayne Trace's Bahena finishing in 15th place. Congratulations to all the runners. State champion Taylor Roth. Christmas is a state of mind. Minster, congratulations. So the Christmas socks has been kind of your thing all season. Uh, tell me about that. So my freshman year, tra cross country actually, um, this really inspirational coach, actually Springfield Chinese coach, told me that it's Christmas morning every morning. Treat every day like Christmas morning. Be grateful to wake up and be thankful for every opportunity to get and take advantage of it. So ever since then, I've worn Christmas socks. It's Christmas morning every morning is my thing. And I use that to my advantage. Just be grateful for what I have in this opportunity. When you woke up this morning, did you think you'd unwrap a state championship by the mid-morning? <laughs> um, well, I prepared myself to run as fast as I could, do what I can, and in the end, the goal is always to go as far and as fast as you can. So I definitely had it on my mind. Like, that would be so cool. That would be such a perfect opportunity for me. And so that was my goal, and that's what I came here to do.
So in the midst of the race, was there ever a time where you felt like, I, I, I think I got this, I think this is going to happen, and what was that like? Um, my first couple steps were super strong. I was super confident, and I knew that I was in the mindset to get to where I wanted to be. I was like, I'm ready, I've got this. And through the whole second lap, I just kept that same confidence, that same mindset, and I knew that I was ready to go. Well, congratulations, and hats off to a great season, and uh, hey, Merry Christmas. Thank you, I appreciate it.